much. Another Republican formally enters the presidential race. Senator Rand Paul declares his candidacy in his home state of Kentucky. It happened this afternoon. Local 12's Joe Webb is in Louisville with what Paul promised supporters. After 90 minutes of warming up to music by Jimi Hendrix, Metallica, and Bruno Mars, a friendly crowd gave Rand Paul a rock star's welcome at Louisville's Dalt House. But it took him 26 minutes to say what they all came to hear. Today, I announce with God's help, with the help of liberty lovers everywhere, that I am putting myself forward as a candidate for President of the United States of America. Swept into the U.S. Senate in 2010 with strong Tea Party support, Senator Paul touched on familiar themes today, a constitutional amendment to balance the budget, term limits for Congress, and a stop to government surveillance of cell phone usage and email accounts. But he also started to sound more like a candidate, trying to expand his base to make a run for national office. This message of liberty is for all Americans, Americans from all walks of life. The message of liberty, opportunity, and justice is for all Americans, whether you wear a suit, a uniform, or overalls, whether you're white or black, rich or poor. Senator Paul also called for a stop to what he calls overseas nation building and a defense strategy that leads to peace. It's obviously just the first day officially of this presidential campaign, but it appears Senator Paul already has some strong support with Republicans in northern Kentucky. The Martin family came down from Petersburg to hear Paul speak. State Senator Damon Thayer sees Paul's candidacy from an historic perspective. It's not every day that a Kentuckian announces he's running for president of the United States and Rand uh, is the right man at the right time and I, want to, I wanted to be here at the beginning to show my support. Rand Paul sees the campaign as a crusade for change. Today begins the journey to take America back. The senator leaves Louisville for the early primary in caucus states. He will speak in New Hampshire, South Carolina and Iowa before the end of the week. In Louisville, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Paul becomes the second major candidate to declare a presidential bid, but he could face as many as 20 rivals for the GOP nomination. Each is trying to win the right to go head-to-head -head with Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton, who has yet to say if she's running.